Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to talk about centrifugal compressors and turbines. The gas processing is a bit complicated compared to the liquid streams because of its compressible nature. When gas passes through a machine like compressor and turbine, its properties changes with respect to temperature and pressure. Uh, for example, the changes in density in gas uh, stream is much higher compared to the liquid one. So, uh, in this tutorial, we will learn uh, compressor and turbine adiabatic efficiency concept and then we will try to calculate compressor and turbine efficiency power and uh, discharge outlet gas temperature in high seas. So first, let's recall some basic definitions of uh, compressor and turbine adiabatic efficiencies. Adiabatic efficiency, uh, we can deduce it using the first law of thermodynamics, which states that the heat input minus work done is equal to the mass flow rate into the uh, change in enthalpy plus change in potential energy plus change in kinetic energy. So, as the compression, if we talk about compressor, so the compression is adiabatic, so it means there is no heat flow into the system or out to the system. So, this term Q is equal to the zero. On the other hand, the changing in potential energy and kinetic energies are negligible so we can set these two terms equal to zero and then the rest of the equation will become like this that is the work done of work done is equal to the mass flow rate into the change in enthalpy so in case of compressors work done is negative why because by definition in some thermodynamic books as a convention so work done uh, by the system is negative so for compressor we have negative work done and uh, we can rearrange this equation and the final work equation is equal to the work done mass flow rate of the fluid into the uh, change in enthalpy from point one to the point two so uh, the adiabatic efficiency of a compressor is defined as the ratio of isentropic work to the actual work. Isentropic work is also called ideal work uh, because this work is calculated at constant entropy. Here I am using uh, the denomination for isentropic work as Wi for actual work Wa. To introduce uh, the values of uh, isentropic work and actual work, I'm going to use this Molière diagram that is a graph between uh, enthalpy and entropy. So P1 and P2 are the pressure lines. So in case of compression, we are going from this point, from point 1, that is the low pressure point, to the point 2, that is the higher pressure. Uh, when the compression is isentropic, so the, uh, the entropy will be the constant and we will follow this straight line, this blue straight line and on the y-axis, the change in enthalpy will give you the amount of isentropic work. But in reality, uh, it's not happen. In reality, during compression, there is always some losses due to the friction. So, there is uh, uh, increase in enthalpy during, uh, sorry, increase in entropy during the compression process. And we will follow this green compression path instead of this blue one. And then the respective uh, point on the y-axis will give you the actual amount of work. So using these uh, expressions and using this work equation, we can finally write the expression for adiabatic efficiency of a compressor. 
and also we know that the enthalpy is equal to the heat capacity into the temperature so using uh, this expression we can finally write the and uh, the uh, efficiency in the form of temperatures so now we are able to find efficiency of a compressor as well as using this efficiency expression we can find the power or the work done as well as the outlet temperature now let's move the uh, the case of turbine so we will use the same strategy using the first law of thermodynamics we will reduce the work equation for turbine the only difference is here turbine work done is positive uh, because of uh, the thermodynamic convention because the work done is produced by the system so the work equation for turbine is this one that is w is equal to mass flow rate into the enthalpy of point 1 minus enthalpy of point 2 so in case of uh, turbine we are moving from high pressure to the low pressure so the turbine efficiency is defined as the ratio of actual work to the isentropic work and for isentropic work that is the reversible work and constant entropy work we will follow this green uh, line for expansion and the change in the enthalpy will give you the isentropic work but in reality uh, during the compression process there is always increase in entropy and we will not end up here instead of here and the difference between this point that is the HA and H1 will give you the actual amount of work that turbine will produce but so these actually these two uh, uh, definitions are for adiabatic efficiency of a turbine as well as of a compressor but in reality there is another term used called as polytropic efficiency the system uh, compressor or turbine they can work uh, between adiabatic uh, uh, adiabatic uh, process as well as the isothermal process but they are not completely follow the adiabatic path nor the isothermal path so therefore they, they work between these two curves and that curve is called polytropic and uh, centrifugal compressors are uh, compared using the polytropic efficiencies now we will practice these uh, concepts uh, in high seas by solving this problem the problem statement is methane gas enters in a compressor at 10 degrees c and one bar pressure at a flow rate of 12 kg mole per hour the discharge pressure is 10 bar the motor power consumption is 32 kilowatt so what we have to find we would have to find the gas outlet temperature as well as we have to find the efficiency the adiabatic efficiency and polytropic efficiency of a compressor after that the we will use the same discharge gas from a compressor will enter into the turbine and will leave a turbine at one at most uh, one bar pressure and then we will see how much power turbine will produce so let's move to the high seas to solve this uh, problem well now we are in high seas environment the first thing is define uh, the component and the component is methane so just click on methane press add methane is selected the next step is the selection of fluid packages in that case we will use ping rubinson as a fluid package why we are using this one the detail explanation is given in the first tutorial of this series just go and check that one now the property environment is specified 
The next step is go to the simulation environment. Okay, now uh, just press this compressor icon from this window and drop it into the flow sheet tab. Close this one, double click on this, say inlet, write uh, say inlet gas and uh, the outlet is discharge discharge gas and uh, the energy is we can say power required so these are the stream that we have defined now next step is go to the inlet stream gas and here you have to specify uh the temperature pressure and flow rate for temperature temperature is 10 degrees c and pressure is one bar so just press one bar and flow rate was 12 kg mol per hour now next step is go to the composition and specify composition methane just press one and press ok go to the conditions are uh, here 12 kg mol per hour okay now the stream one the inlet gas stream is specified the second thing we know that the discharge stream has a pressure of 10 bar and motor power consumption is 32 kilowatt so go to the discharge stream so here in pressure just press 10 and then uh, uh, click on this bar okay now the uh, the the compressor unit is converged or simulated but uh, one thing that we did not specify here the power for that press this uh, uh, compressor icon double go to the parameters and remove this efficiency because we want to know efficiency and we will deliver power and the power was 32 kilowatt so just press enter now the compressor is converged you can see everything is okay and uh, now you can uh, check the adiabatic efficiency of this compressor that was asked in the question and uh, go to the parameters and then you can see that the adiabatic efficiency of this compressor is 73.37 percent when you are delivering 32 kilowatt hour power to the compressor so the second thing that was asked it was the discharge uh, outlet temperature so for that go to this stream and here you can see the discharge gas temperature is 245.6 degrees c the second task that was asked uh, in the question was to use a turbine so for that go to this uh, flow sheet uh, tab uh, select models and stream button from here select this expander and drop it here onto the main flow sheet close this one double click on it and the inlet stream now is the discharge stream from the compressor so and the outlet stream we can say low pressure stream so low pressure okay and the energy that we need from a turbine is the power so we can say power generation from turbine okay go close this one and we know that in a problem statement it was written that the gas coming out from turbine will be at one bar uh, pressure so just press one and select unit in bar so everything is converged now go to this 
power generation tab and you can see that uh, the uh, this turbine is going to provide 20.03 uh, kilowatt hour power so this is the way how you can uh, calculate uh, adiabatic efficiency how you can calculate compressor discharge pressure how you can calculate uh, the turbine power generation so for this tutorial that's all but in next tutorial we will learn a very interesting phenomena that is called surging in compressor how compressor go on search, what are the causes, how we can uh, 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 avoid uh, the surging in compressor and then we will learn uh, to analyze search uh, phenomena in high seas. So stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.